Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I'm here today with the Creative Design Team. We're bringing you ideas all week long for documenting your travel adventures. This is a photo from a road trip I took in 2020 and there were tons of photos. We were gone for two weeks and so it's getting its own album. I chose this to create a cover page for the album because this one photo sums up the adventure in just a picture. We're in our motorhomes, loaded down with mountain bikes and we're in the middle of nowhere. So lots of adventures were had on this vacation and I'm excited to use this Map Your Journey stamp. This is a really cool stamp set. I've actually been excited about it but this is the first time I've inked it up. Do you guys ever do that? You just you love a stamp and then you you know wait and wait and wait to use it. You can see it creates the map of the United States and it's a pretty good size stamp set here. You'll see when I put it on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper um, how how big it is. Now I'm going to bring in the catalog and show you just because I inked it up so it's a little bit hard to see. Now I do want to point out this is the September through August 2022 catalog so it ends at the end of this month so if you love this stamp don't wait. That's kind of true for all stamps. If you just love it grab it before it's gone but you can see they have a really fun layout where they have used it and they have there's a little key that comes with the stamp set. It says where I've been, where I'm headed and where I've lived. So they have given a little color coding and, and colored the map in accordingly, which I think is a really fun look. I'm going to do something a little bit different today, but they also have Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. So really fun idea. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this on my layout today, as well as discuss some other ways that you could use this stamp set. For today's layout, I am using my Celebrating You paper pack, and you can see this is a very birthday inspired paper pack. I absolutely love the colors. But in here, I've already pulled it out, there is this paper, and I love it. Right away when I saw this, it made me just think of adventure. Now, it's just kind of this ombre effect of, you know, different kind of a watercolory look, but to me it reminds me of a mountain range. Do you see that there? So I'm going to be using this as a, you know, part of my background today. Who would think that you could pull a, an adventure layout from a birthday pack, right? Let me bring in my verse mat. This is a single page layout because as I mentioned, it's going to be the cover sheet for the album dedicated to this particular vacation. I'm going to make the bottom half of this layout blue from this blue sapphire cardstock, but I want to save as much of this pattern paper as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this one down and mount it on the blue background. So I cut this to six and a half inches and we'll just mount that on the top of our cardstock like so. This is one of the layouts I created that will end up going in that album. So not all the layouts have to be matchy matchy. I don't need to have a theme all the way through because I let the photos be my inspiration. However, for this one, I thought it'd be fun to bring in some of the same colors. So I'm going to bring in um, some bits from this Wander paper pack and the paprika for sure. So I have two strips of paper here. Actually, this one's a sticker from the Celebrating You Coordinating Sticker Sheet. So I pulled that off the bottom here and this is a coordinating sticker sheet for this birthday paper pack where I pulled this from. Check out that silver foiling detail, it's so pretty. But I thought it would look nice and I also wanted to bring in that paprika color. So this is a zip strip from one of the retired mix-ins. So I'm gonna layer that and then use the sticker to finish off the transition between the cardstock and the pattern paper. I've cut a sheet of mocha cardstock. That rich chocolatey brown color brings out the color in the rocks behind the motorhomes in the photo. We were at the Cottonwood Narrows Trailhead in Utah and we were hiking through a slot canyon. It was so cool, really neat. I'm going to work on creating my map. I have a piece of white daisy cardstock. You do want to peel this carefully off the carrier sheet. You do not have to have a stamp positioner, but when you have a large stamp like this, it is very helpful. So I'm going to pick that up with the misty door and I'm using intense black ink because I'm going to be adding some color to this map with my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. 
I think that up. You're going to give it a good press. If you have like a cloth or something to rub over the MISD door, that is also very helpful. Let's lift this up and see how it turned out. It looks pretty good. I missed a few spots, so I'm just going to touch up those areas. And I want this nice and crisp, so I am going to stamp it a couple times. So I'm going to be using this stamp to color in all of the states we visited on this particular road trip. I have my stamp chamois here and I like to clean as I go because I have a small workspace. So just this makes it nice and easy to just wipe that up. And then I can switch it out for the other half of my map stamp here. So it's very easy to line up. If you made a mistake, let's say you were hand stamping it and you didn't quite line those edges up, it'd be very easy to take a black journaling pen and connect those lines for a seamless look. I'll get the other side stamped and the finished stamped image measures about eight inches across by about four and three quarters deep. So it's really good size, but isn't that fun? I love how they have the, you know, name of the state written to fill out the shape. Super cute. Now I do want to work on my title. So I grabbed my slimline alphabet thin cut set. This is my favorite thin cut set because they're so tall and skinny that you can fit a lot of letters. I am going to cut out the word road trip. I'm going to cut out the word trip from blue cardstock, the sapphire blue. And I do have two layers of paper under there and I'm going to glue those together to give them a little bit more dimension. Now this is super cool. This is called irresistibles and there's several different patterns. They come in 12 by 12 sheets and I'll show you how these work. They're really fun. For this, I'm going to spell out the word road and my R is in the word trip. So I'll have to do it a couple times through my die cutting machine. I have all my letters. I'm going to bring in my all purpose mat here and then we're going to do a little ink blending on the word road and I'll show you how that uh, fun irresistible pattern works. Keeping with my color scheme, I chose paprika and I have a little blending brush and I just want to do like the bottom three quarters of each letter. So I'm blending on the paprika color ink and the way the irresistibles work is they have a shiny UV coating. So it's only going to take up color where there isn't that shiny coating. So it'll reveal the pattern. I know it's hard to see against the color of my all purpose map, but I'll hold it up here in a second and you can see what that looks like. But this is really fun. You could do this with shapes, all sorts of different things, but I know I'll be doing this a lot with letters because it's just a really fun way to add some interest to your titles. You could even add two different colors. I'm going to leave the top white because I like the way that looks, but let me bring in a piece of paper so you can see that plaid pattern showing through with the paprika ink. There's a diagonal and a floral and a polka dot and some squares, several different types of patterns available in that irresistible paper. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to glue a couple layers together. I'll just do a few and that way you can, I'll do the rest off camera. But this gives it just a little bit of dimension. These would be difficult to add foam tape to because they're very thin letters. So this is an easy way to do that. And when you run it through your die cutting machine, you can cut, you know, at least two papers at once. So it's, you know, doesn't take a whole lot of time. I'm going to arrange my title over here for now. We'll just dry I fit this into this space here and then we can work on our map. I did give this time to dry and now I'm going to color it in with my burnt orange Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend marker. I have the medium shade and I'm going to outline each of the states we visited on this road trip. I'll speed it up and I'm going to do just a couple states and I'll do the rest off camera. But you can see I'm just laying down that medium shade and then we'll do Nevada while we're here. So you can see a couple of them. And then I will switch to the lighter shade and color in the center of the state. Now I want to keep this pretty light because I want the detail to show through the stamped image. And if you use a darker color, you would color over that and not see it. So that's why I'm kind of mainly coloring in with the light. 
You could color these in with a colored pencil or you could just take one shade from your markers and just go around the outline and leave the center uncolored. So lots of different things you can do or do some paper piecing, stamp them on colored cardstock, cut them out and adhere them onto the map. I'm using the very darkest color of the burnt orange to go around the very edge of each state just to give them some definition and separate front, you know, so where you can see where one state ends and the next begins. I'm going to go over that with my medium just a little bit, you know, one more time to blend the colors a little bit better so you don't have such a stark line around the outside. I mentioned I'm going to color in the states that we visited for this particular trip, but another fun idea for this stamp set would be, for example, my sister lives in Illinois and I am in California. I could color in the two states and then document maybe a difference between the two areas, like the weather, like a picture of her um, and what's going on weather-wise and a picture of me and what's going on weather-wise where I live. So just fun different uh, ideas like that. I'm going to fussy cut this out off camera. So I went ahead and got that done, colored in all the states that we visited, and I outlined the edge of the map with a blue marker. I'm envisioning this down on the bottom and I do want to bring in some of that paprika color to the top of the layout above my photo. These are the Wander Picture My Life cards and these are from my stash. They are no longer available. Some of the Wander collection is there is a little bit of the paper and some of the stamps. So those are fun to check out. But oh, look at that. How perfect is that for a road trip? How can I incorporate this? Let me see if I could slide it under here. I think that's going to work. It's like driving off into the sunset. That road is kind of a leading line and it leads your eye kind of right to the photo. So I'm liking that too. Let me scoot these up here. I'm a big fan of pocket cards, even though I don't typically use them for their intended purpose of putting them into the divided pages. I love using them for, you know, kind of embellishments and title pieces and just layering on my regular 12 by 12 layouts. I'm just going to try a few others. I have this little tag. I kind of like that paper. Here's a little scrap piece of it. I'm going to slide it behind there. And I think yeah, I think that's going to work. Let me darken the edges just a little bit so it stands out against that background. This is just some black ink and then I'll slide it right into place here. I want to incorporate this sticker that says Ticket to Anywhere and then I have these chipboard die cut frames and those are still available. So I love it just kind of cutting them, you know, and using them as like a little tab, just a little layered element. I'm going to tuck that right in there to kind of soften that transition where the pocket card fades into that pattern paper. So I still want to put a little bit more orange up top and I think I'm going to have to cut a tag. So I have paprika cardstock. I don't need the full tag, so I'm just going to kind cut off a little piece because I'm tucking that right behind my photo. I'm going to layer up several pieces to create this embellishment cluster. Now I have these adventure badges and I just shared these in my last video. I love them. I know I'm going to use these over and over and over again. I think they're so cool. So I have stamped that in black ink and then matted it on paprika cardstock. And I'm going to use that to soften that corner on the upper edge there. And then I'll just arrange these so they're all kind of grounded and nestled together. I do want to pop this up on a little bit of 3D foam tape. It's super, you can tear this, but I like cutting it with my nonstick micro tip scissors. These won't get gummed up with it or anything like that. So I really like having those handy. You could definitely use bits and pieces of this map. Also, you don't have to use it as a whole. You know, maybe you were visiting the East Coast. You can just have that portion kind of layered underneath your photos sticking out as just another part of the embellishments. And that would look really neat. So I think this is just a really fun, versatile stamp. I'm adding a few acrylic arrows. You guys know I love these. These are the little chevron pieces and I like to have them in three. So not only do I have three in each, you know, area, I'm going to add a third element of black right up top here. So not that piece. That's not quite right. No, let's try this little curly cute guy. That's kind of fun. I like that. 
that is creating that visual triangle around the photo and giving it a nice balance. I do want my title to read Road Trip 2020. So I'm gonna add the 2020 with a tiny little stamp. This is called the Prairie Alphabet. If it is still available, I will leave it listed in the description box below along with everything else I used on today's layout. And so if you're interested in something, you can check there. I'm turning the layout sideways and I'm using that T as a guide to stamp my 2020. If you are enjoying this video, I would love it if you would click that like button, give it a big thumbs up. That lets YouTube know you're enjoying the content and it helps me grow here on the platform. I'm going to call this layout done. I don't think it needs any journaling because like I said, it is the first page of the album. So we have road trip 2020 and all of the states that I visited. And then the stories will come on the layouts behind this particular page. Next up is Katie. Be sure to check out all of the creative design team videos for tons of travel inspiration and tips. You can catch the playlist right here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.